This is your one and only FireSpark81 with your daily dose of video goodness. Is there a mod you'd like to see me spotlight? If so, leave a comment down below and I'll do my best to make it happen. Today, we're looking at a popular mod called the Bridge Mod. Let's start with the Ingrams. Go to your Ingrams and scroll down to the bottom. They are there at the bottom as usual. The hanging bridges are worth 8 Ingrams each. There is a single wooden bridge that is just a straight one. It is 10. There's a stone bridge that is similar to the wooden bridge, except it's made from stone. It is 10. There's the ramp stone bridge, which is also going to cost you 10. Then there's the two metal versions of the metal bridge, which are 15 each. Let's look at the cost. Here we have the hanging wooden bridge. It's going to cost you 150 fiber. 150 thatch, 250 wood, 30 flint, and one rare mushroom. The hanging ramped wooden bridge is going to cost you the exact same thing. 150 fiber, 150 thatch, 250 wood, 30 flint, and one rare mushroom. We have the wooden bridge. going to cost you 150 fiber, 150 thatch, 250 wood, 30 flint, and one rare mushroom. The stone bridge going to cost you 150 fiber, 200 thatch, 100 wood, 30 flint, 250 stone, 50 cementing paste, and one rare mushroom. Ramped stone bridge, 150 fiber, 200 thatch, 100 wood, 30 flint, 250 stone, 50 cementing paste, and of course one rare mushroom. The straight metal bridge. 150 fiber, 100 thatch, 100 wood, 30 flint, 80 cementing paste, 300 metal ingots, and one rare mushroom. Seeing a pattern here yet? The ramped metal, br metal bridge is the same thing. 150 fiber, 100 thatch, 100 wood, 30 flint, 80 cementing paste, 300 ingots, and of course the mushroom. So that goes over the cost of each of the different bridges. I'm not sure why the mushroom is in there. Um, that's kind of weird in my opinion, but whatever. Okay, so things I learned while looking through this mod and testing it out. The ramped wooden bridge over here. First of all, you can pick all of these up. So let's pick up the ramped hanging wooden bridge. Now... When I go to place it, it does not snap. See? No snap. I can click once, and then I can rotate it. This is the only one that can do this. None of the others can. Not even any of these ramped ones. Now, if you saw here, I have different options when I hold down the E button while looking at it. They all have similar options, but some vary a little bit differently. Let's start with the basics, because this has the most basic options. But I'm going to show you with this one over here, so you can see a little bit better. Okay, so... We highlight it. We can make the bridge smaller, which shrinks it. We can make the bridge bigger, which of course makes it bigger. It widens it and stretches it. Right now we're making small adjustments. We're doing one at a time. If you look, small. Now it's 0.9, big, back to one. If I click this where it says major adjustment, adjustments, that's gonna switch it. Now see it says minor. So now if I click big and I highlight over it, we're going with one whole point size. Now if I decide I don't like my bridge, I can click this and reset it completely. Now, one thing that I noticed is that the rope bridges you're you can't i mean you can shrink them but you probably shouldn't because here's what happens when you shrink them if i make it smaller okay one's fine i can still walk through the ropes but see these ropes are actually they have collision all right let's take it down again see you get stuck So, bigger is fine on the rope bridges. You can go as big as you want. 
keep going bigger, 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 it's fine because you're just widening your path. You're not going to get caught on those ropes. But smaller, not so much. Now, with these, when you make them smaller, it's not that big of a deal. Because eventually, you'll make them so small that you'll, you could just jump and you're walking on top of the railing. But that doesn't really work with these rope bridges as well because they're curved and you'll slide and then you'll get stuck. So that's one major thing to keep in mind when you're playing with this mod. Your best bet is, I would say, honestly, the don't put the rope bridges for anything you're actually going to use. They're great for looks. If you're going to make them huge, yeah, they'll be fine. But if you have a small gap, you're best off using one of the other bridges because of that one bug, I guess you could call it. Okay, now, the other options. You can rotate it up and down. Actually, I'm going to click to major adjustments so you guys can see a big difference. See how high it got? So all of your bridges have the, those options there. You can also pick it up. You can pick up all of them. You could demolish it. Um, or you could save the bridge size. Which will, when you place the next one, it'll place it the same setting as you had the one before. Okay, now, these are a little bit different. And you can see this one has the different options. The wooden bridge has the different options. Stone bridge has the different options. And the metal bridge does not. The metal ramped bridge. And the stone ramped bridge do not. So, just these three flat ones here have the different set of options. So what are those different options? Well, let's reset this guy. So you can shorten the bridge, which just makes a little chunky bridge. You can take it back to a long bridge. You can turn off the rails, so you just get the flat platform. And that's it. Other than that, it has the same options that the other ones have. Now, one thing I noticed that you need to be very careful of that's another, I guess, I'm not sure if it's a bug or if it's just like an arc thing. Because, you know, arc. So let's click the major adjustments and let's make this thing huge. So you can get an idea, one, of how big this thing can get. And two, I can demonstrate an issue. So see, you can make these things absolutely freaking insane. You could walk a Bronto across this. Now, to demonstrate this, I'm going to have to make it bigger. Uh, 11 should do it. Now i got to go get a flyer because if I'm not careful, I could break the game. So I can't walk. So, you're on your bridge and you're walking along. And you're like, oh, this is a great bridge. And then... All of a sudden, boom, the bridge disappears and you get stuck. And the only way to fix it is to restart your game and spawn back in. And then things get crazy and you may or may not fall in the water. But what I've discovered is that your view distance affects the bridge rendering in and it renders in from its original placement point. So since I placed it here, this is where my view distance for the bridge starts. So when I walk all the way, or fly all the way out here, poof, I'm out of render distance from that back end, and the bridge, the whole entire bridge just disappears. So that's one thing to keep in mind when you're making these bridges. Now, what you can do is we'll reset. Where's my reset button? We'll reset this bridge. We'll remove the rails again. Do some major adjustments. Let's crank the size a little. Let's crank the size to three. Now let's pick this guy up. Where is my pickup? Pickup. Now you can run out here to the end. 
This is plenty close enough, see? It's still in render distance, so I'm safe. It's no big deal. I can grab my new my other bridge. I can place it here. Do the same thing. Toggle my rails. Change my adjustments. Make it bigger. Okay, now I can walk all the way to the end and continue to walk. Even if that first bridge disappears, this bridge will not as long as I'm, I'm careful about my view distance. So then I can link another bridge here and do the same thing. And now basically the ones behind it will disappear, but the one that you're on will not. So you're fine and you won't have that fall through wonky arc likes to drive us all crazy bug. So if we place this one, you can see we got the same thing. We can toggle the rails on it. You can toggle the rails on this one. These, these here will, will snap just like those. Let me pick one of these up and demonstrate to you. So we'll pick it up. See how it just looks for a place to snap. And it will snap to the end of the bridges as well. So let me snap it. We can do some major adjustments. Make it huge. How small can we make it, you ask? Well, let's see. That's pretty freaking small. But yeah, you can still walk on it. That's what I was talking about, about making it small with the rails. Even though it has the rails on it, you eventually get to a point where you can just walk on top of it. You don't have the issue like you have with the rope bridges. I think that's going to call it for this episode. That's about all the information I could get you on this mod and about everything I could find out from playing with it. I hope you like this video. If you do, please leave a comment down below. Let me know what you thought. If you're shy, don't want to leave a comment, want to show your support, hit that thumbs up button. It helps out. All right. Until next time. Thanks for watching.